what's good? You're back with Bar Natural Press. And in today's video, it's going to be an exclusive training that I've been doing with one of my lifelong friends. I've known this guy for over 15 years. I ain't going to tell you too much about him, but he's over 300 pounds. We've been working together for about six weeks. So far, he's lost close to 30 pounds working with me. Most of our training has been done in my garage. We do a lot of high-intensity interval training. We do, we do do some calisthenic training. This is our third park session together. So literally, this routine is for the absolute beginner. He's 35 years old. He's only been working out for six weeks of his entire life, and he's plus 300 pounds. And I'm going to tell you, he ain't 300 pounds of muscle. I ain't knocking him. He's my boy. This is facts, though, guys. And I know I've got a lot of you on my channel who are the same way. So this is an absolute beginner workout. Follow along. It is push, pull, legs. It is going to be high volume training. It is meant to put a lot of blood and work the muscles a lot and to burn fat. It's going to increase the heart rate, but it's not going to be too intense. We're working superset style. We're going to be working three exercises at a time, but they're not going to be so much muscle breakdown where you can't handle it if you're a beginner. This is going to be tailored for weight loss and muscle building. So follow along and you're going to see how I train an absolute beginner and how you guys can follow this routine. If you're starting out calisthenics and your goal is weight loss and muscle building, this routine is for you. All you're going to need is yourself, a park, some resistance bands, and hopefully you guys got a kettlebell or one single dumbbell. That's all you need is one weight. One weight for some added resistance. Now, follow along and let's get it done. So here we go. We started off with the push exercises. We did three exercises for one set for the push workout. So the first exercise in the set was resistance band chest presses. We did 15 reps with the resistance band. Now remember, resistance bands do not break down muscles. They do not cause damage. They're just there to pump blood and warm up the muscle and get some volume work in. Straight from the resistance band presses, we went into a push-up plank hold. Here on my boy, I put a 30-pound kettlebell on his back to replicate the 30 pounds he's just about lost with me. Now remember, this is three exercises per set for push. We did a 30-second plank hold here, and straight from here, you're going to see, we went on to the next exercise for pressing, which is explosive push-ups on an elevated surface. We're aiming for 6 to 12 reps here, and again, we're using an elevated surface, so there's less gravity on the body, and he's able to handle the load. Now remember, this push workout, we did three exercises back to back to back. After we hit the three exercises, we waited one minute, and we did five total rounds of this. So, three exercises, one minute break for five rounds to complete the push part of the routine. Right after the five rounds of push work, we moved on to pull. We waited about two minutes before we got into the first exercise, but here it is. First exercise for our pulls, again, we're using a resistance band. Why? Because they're not going to break down muscles, they're not going to cause damage. This is going to pump blood into the working muscles, get some volume sets in for the working muscles for the sets that are about to come. Now remember, each set is always going to be a little easier with the resistance bands for the push, pull, and then you're going to see what we do for the legs. And right after the volume work with the resistance bands, then we're going to go into our isometric pull movement. Now, for the push you saw, we did a push-up plank hold for our isometrics. Now I'm taking him to the pull-up bar, and all he's going to do is a dead hang. Remember, he is over 300 pounds, and I'm not going to lie, three weeks ago when we came and tried this at the park, he couldn't even hold himself up. So that's progress right there that he's making. Now, right after that isometric dead hang, all he got was five seconds. It's a max hold for that dead hang for him. Max time that he can hold right off the bar, up to the next movement. This is where you're going to use that kettlebell again. Here we're doing single arm rows. So we aim for 6 to 10 reps in each arm. And that was the last exercise in the pull routine. So again, three exercises in this round. First was the resistance band rows, then the isometric dead hang, then the single arm kettlebell rows. And again, back to back to back, one minute break, and we completed five rounds for the pull routine. All right, now we're moving on to our leg work. Here we're not going to be using resistance bands at all. 
So our first exercise is a body weight squat to a leg raise, and we're gonna raise for the opposite hand. This is just to get some more muscle movement, more body movement in general, burn more calories. We're going for 10 reps of one squat to one knee raise. Straight from there, back to the kettlebell, and here's our isometric work. We're doing a 10 second squat hold. Again here, he is holding the 30, 30 pound kettlebell to simulate the weight that he has lost with me so far. Straight from there, we are doing straight arm walks. This is really gonna engage the core, not so much the legs, but again, it's gonna add load to your body. This is more core work and all, and all total body control. You gotta hold that kettlebell straight over your head and engage everything, your core, your glutes, so your body is not leaning over. You have to fight those opposite forces. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you could instead substitute this exercise for body weight lunges. The lunges are really gonna target the hamstring, and I was cueing him to take long strides so he would get some more hamstring involvement while he was walking with the kettlebell. So right after we finished with five rounds of legs, we threw some cardio work in. Here you're gonna see, I have a 30 pound slam ball. What he's doing is, is he's lifting it up each time from a dead stop, and he's throwing it over his head as explosively as he can. He's going for 10 tosses, each round and we did three total rounds of this to close out the routine for the day so to wrap it up this is a push pull leg routine for beginners five rounds of push workouts five rounds of pull workouts five rounds of leg workouts then we ended off with some cardio which is what you see here Here's a bonus for all you big guys this is my boy working on LC progressions he cannot hold his weight up on these dip bars by himself yet, but he can for one second support his weight on it. So what is he doing? He's holding all his weight down on his hands and simultaneously he's switching right foot to left foot off that little bar right there. For that one second switch off, his body has to hold his weight up for that one second as the leg switches. And then he stayed on his tippy toes and put as much weight down on his arms as he can and support his body as little as he can on his feet to end it off for the day. I hope you guys enjoy this content, this routine, and like always, like, comment, subscribe, Bon Naturals. Peace out.